when I paint, I'm thinking about the emotions of the viewer. I don't want to give him information, I want to give him feeling. I don't want to show him something, I want to make him feel something. I think fine art is about feeling, about our senses, about our soul, our sensitivity. And my favorite art is when I can go deep into a painting and I can feel the emotions of its creator. Wild Apple is pleased and proud to present a visit with artist Sylvia Vasilova. We recently visited Sylvia in her studio to capture the special uniqueness of her painting and to speak to her about her work. Oh, I always loved painting. I was so fascinated by fine art that I, I was speaking that I want to be an artist in my early childhood. I was born in Plovdiv, that's the second big city in Bulgaria. Very artistic place, famous with a group of artists who were very strong in the in the early 70s, exactly when I was growing up. I suspected that there are some secrets that grown-up people know, and the only way to learn was to go to art class. And I was 12 when I went to one art class. That was the luckiest day <laughs> in my life, the end of my childhood actually, because it felt exactly like I have had a curtain in front of my eyes, and this man in one hour lifted that curtain so I was able to see in a totally different way. When we go through uh, all those years of art education, and for me that was from 12 to 25, this is what the goal of those drawings and studies was. That's the total freedom, this is what I love about painting. It's absolutely great that you can do whatever you want as long as you are convincing then i think i have achieved my goal because to me the relationship of the colors the harmony of a painting that's the most important so it can be flat it can be three-dimensional as long as it's convincing people often say how did you choose the color palette and i always say i don't choose the color palette the colors just come to me. As long as I have those paint uh, out of the tube on the palette, then the rest comes naturally. I don't even think. But now I have to admit that this didn't come to me when I was 12. It, it takes quite a while. Sometimes I have the decision the night before I start painting. Sometimes I start painting and I don't know what am I going to paint. It's again uh, a process that, that's absolutely unpredictable or you have a very clear idea. I don't know. As I said, there are so many subject matters around us that we just have to grab one and put it on the canvas. For many years I was using only oil. I was painting mainly with oil. I discovered acrylics here and it's very good for me because they drive fast so you somehow are forced to paint fast and I believe that when I paint fast I express myself better but once you start painting I don't think you can ever stop although all the time uh, people give me ideas but as long as I put that idea in my mind, it's already mine. The subject matters are out there. We just have to reach them and take them. And people often say, don't you get tired? Don't you burn out? Don't you feel like there is nothing else you want to paint? I do feel like that once in a while late in the evening, but the next morning I wake up and I have the energy to start all over again. Music is something that I always have as a background when I paint. I love music, especially classical music. I think the best for painting, especially early in the morning, is Mozart. Late during the day I can switch to jazz, but I always have music when I paint.
Sometimes what's in your mind can be very different than what you put on the surface. Sometimes I have very clear idea and I really have to translate that idea from my mind through my hand on the canvas and that's easy. When you have the idea in your mind, when you can see the picture, you just translate it, that's no problem. But sometimes you start painting and you really don't know what are you doing, where are you going. But this is interesting because it's like a journey. You go somewhere, you don't know where you will, you will end up. It can be a total disaster, the result. But it can be something much better than your own idea. For more information about the sophistication of Sylvia, visit Wild Apple's website, wildapple.com, or call Wild Apple at 802-457-3003.